Let's take a look at the 1972 NBA Draft and one of the worst ever picks made first overall. The Philadelphia 76ers selected Fred Boyd fifth overall in the 1972 NBA Draft. He started his career with an NBA All-Rookie first team performance in 1973, but that didn't last very long, playing just six seasons total in the league. The Phoenix Suns selected Corky Calhoun fourth overall in the 1972 NBA Draft. Despite never putting up any eye-opening numbers on the stat sheet, he did win an NBA title in 1977 with the Portland Trailblazers. The Cleveland Cavaliers chose Dwight Davis third overall in the 1972 NBA Draft. While he set many records at the University of Houston, that success didn't translate at the pro level, as he lasted only five seasons in the league. The Buffalo Braves selected Bob McAdoo second overall in the 1972 NBA Draft, and he went on to become one of two players from that year's draft to make it to the Hall of Fame, with Julius Irving being the other. McAdoo was the 1973 Rookie of the Year, a three-time scoring champion, a five-time NBA All-Star, and a two-time NBA champion, but his success didn't end there. He went on to dominate in Italy after leaving the NBA, and he has won three titles as an assistant coach with the Miami Heat. The Portland Trailblazers selected LaRue Martin first overall in 1972. Martin lasted only four years in the league, and ironically, the year he left, the Trailblazers won their first NBA championship. His performance and the players chosen after him in the draft make the 6'11 center arguably the worst number one overall pick in basketball history. Looks like Portland missed out on a Hall of Fame career in Bob McAdoo. What do you think about these picks? Let us know in the comments below.